authorities intervened to curb COVID chaos and Foxconn factory. A day after hundreds of workers at the factory of Apple's major supplier in central China's Henan province fled to their hometowns on foot amid a COVID-19 outbreak. Local authorities stepped up to set up emergency plans to contain the chaos Sunday. Authorities said they have cooperated with Tibet and had countered Foxconn to arrange personnel and vehicles to transport workers willing to return home by following proper procedures, according to a statement from the Epidemic Prevention Office in Zhengzhou Airport, economies of which overseas the factory. For those waiting to return home, the enterprises should formally respect their wishes and sufficiently communicate with them based on voluntary principles, the notice said, urging Foxconn to strengthen accommodation, tightening, and other care services for those staying in the factory. Workers in Foxconn Mega Factory, which employed, employed some 200,000 people, started fleeing the manufacturing complex center as the COVID-19 lockdown measures in the world's largest iPhone assembly pla plant left many grapply with the inadequate living conditions. Many workers have accused the company to fully or fully short of quarantine quarantine infected workers and security food and medicines for them. Videos circulating on social media over the weekend showed people jumping off fast walls and hardware's walking on the highway, dragging suitcases to cities and countries dozens of kilometers away. Pons revealed the shortage of food and other necessities in Foxconn factory started emergency emerging emerging on social media platforms last week in an anchor of similar situations in the cities of Xinjiang and Guiyang recently. Lin Xiang, a Foxconn worker who used a PCO pursued me for fear of retaliation, told Sito that he was witnessed several infections in the dormitories, but he was asked to continue working amid the outbreak. The only sent those tending positive to quantity while those deemed close contents have to continue working said which is in contrast to China's COVID policies that isolate all primary secondary contents. Foxconn confirmed the infections last week and said production remained relatively stable without disclosing the number of cases while authorities on Sunday said that the situation is controllable overall with no severe cases in three natures of work to workers, which a government service platform published Sunday. The company said it will guarantee the safety and the rights to workers who want to stay and arrange transportation for those willing to leave. Foxconn hotline for, for employees declined to comment when reached by CTO on Monday referred to the company media department, which was unreachable by publication time. The kiosk and the first come Zhengzhou which, um, which accounts for, uh, for around half of the iPhone's global manufacturing comes just ahead of the holiday season, when sales usually Peered up more than 10% of global iPhone production capacity is currently affected by the incident, according to Michiko Michiko analyst and financial service TF International Security. Others suggest it may snatch the company's November, November iPhone 
shipment by up to 30%. This incident has not changed the current iPhone supply chain shipment forecast, Kusan or Twitter is expected that first come production capacity will gradually improve within a few weeks. However, suppliers in China must learn to improve closed-loop production efficiency in response to the zero po code policy. Zhengzhou, a city of 12 million people, reported 14 coronavirus cases for Sunday, up from 19 cases on October 23. Local Authorities attributed the uptick in cases due to the increased movement of people during the National Day holidays and the start of the month. Apart from Jinzhou, several other regional economic hubs across China are also bentonly fresh COVID for near ups, disrupting daily life and manufacturing in the northwestern city of Xinjiang and Euromchi as well as how held in North. On Sunday, Shanghai Disney Resort said it was suspending operation due to COVID curves until further notice one day after announcing reduced operation last week and a year after a COVID 19 scare on Halloween.